name is Seth. Thanks for watching my videos on YouTube at How I Think. And in this video, we're going to be talking about EIGRP route summarization. So if you followed my previous video on EIGRP, we set up a basic network with three routers. Router 1 and 2 uses serial interface, and everything else is fast Ethernet. And we went ahead and configured all the IP addresses and implemented EIGRP using the autonomous system number 100. In this video we're going to be discussing route summarization. I went ahead and created additional loopback addresses on router 3 so we can go ahead and type show IP interface brief and these are all the loopback addresses that I created and what we want to do is advertise those throughout the network. So because if you remember from my previous video we ran the network 0.0.0, .0 command within EIGRP which adds all the interfaces that has an IP to EIGRP so for example we can say show run section EIGRP so if you notice we're running EIGRP 100 that's the autonomous system 100 the network command that we're using is 0.0.0.0, .0. that means any interface that has an IP on this router will be part of the EIGRP group and then we're running no auto summary so if we go to router 1 and type show IP route if you notice via Fast Ethernet 0 on router 1, which is Fast, fast Ethernet 0, we have all these routes being advertised 10.10.20.0, 30 30.0, 40.0, 50.0, and 60.0. 20.0 is coming from router 2, and the rest are coming from router 3 via Fast Ethernet 0. So, what we want to do is we want to summarize these routes. So, instead of each individual route showing up, we want to go ahead and summarize it or shorten it basically so our routing table can be a bit smaller because it takes up less memory then in order for us to do that we have to jump back on router 3 and because I have EIGRP enabled on all of them we have to enable IP summary on these two interfaces so for that we have to go into the config mode and we type in interface range command and I'm going to type in FA0 slash 0 comma interface FA1 slash 0 for these two interfaces I hit enter oops didn't like that okay FA one slash 0 okay here I'm going to type in IP summary address question mark EIGRP then the autonomous system number which is on 100 and then the range how do we want to summarize all these routes down here well they all start with 1010 so I want to summarize them as 1010.0.0 .0 instead of having each one of them being listed individually like this so we type 10.10.0.0 .0 .0 and then 255.255.0.0 okay we don't use the wildcard here we just use the normal subnet mask alright and then we'll hit enter so now up oh, as you can see they're being re uh, adjacencies are being resynced so if I come back to router 1 and you can see the adjacency got resynced so if I type show IP route there you go see now it's shortened it just to the 10 10 0 0 slash 16 and I'm still able to ping 10.10.50.1 I should be able to yep it just shortens it for you if I go to router 2 we see that the adjacency over here as well has been resynced show IP route and we see that here as well, fast Ethernet 00. And it is being 
summarized for us as 10 10 0 0 slash 16 and from here we can say ping 10 dot 10 dot 60 dot 1 and it's successful so if you come back to router 3 and you here if I say do show IP route okay you'll notice that it created a route for us called 10 10 0 0 slash 16 and it says it's a summary and the in, look at the interface it's assigned a null zero interface so the null zero interface is an interface it's a logical interface that gets created anytime you do a summary and basically what that means is that anytime a route is sent to this router that is not part of these IP addresses it'll go ahead and trash it instead of sending it back out and creating a routing loop so this is a safety type of mechanism a loop prevention mechanism that it gets automatically created by EIGRP that's actually a good thing because say you get a route remember we're saying this is 10 10 0 0 right this can go all the way up to 254 or 255 so we get a route that is destined for 10 10 180 180.0 or 180.20 whatever the IP is which is well beyond the scope here but not here right that still falls under this scope so if somebody sends an IP address 10 10 180.1 to this router if the null zero wasn't here this router will say oh I don't know where 10 10 180 is go ahead send it back and it will send it back and that router will send it back back and forth back and forth and it creates a routing loop so to prevent that it says alright if I get something that is not part of my list instead of sending it back I'll just go ahead and trash it I'll track the packets and uh, we won't flood the network or we won't uh, create a routing loop that's what the null zero does okay and now all the routes are still summarized for us as we can see it's still summarized pretty cool so what we can do now is if you don't want this null zero to show up in your routing table here's what you can do we'll go back since we are already in our range command we'll go back to our range command I'll hit the up arrow come back here and I'll type no to negate this command no IP summary and we should see convergence take place again okay show IP route we should have all the routes back up see all the routes individually show it back up again alright so if you remember within the routing table there is administrative distances right 90 is EIGRP 120 is RIP 110 is OSP OSPF um, EIGRP summary routes are 5 these are administrative distance of 5 I forgot to mention that static routes are have administrative distance of 1 and directly connected routes have the administrative distance of 0 if you have an administrative distance of 255 it's gonna discard that route and not list it in the routing table if you remember that from the charts that you usually you've usually seen in the in in the books or read there's a little administrative distance chart and it says 255 is the administrative distance that gets discarded It'll, it is not going to list it in the routing table so if we want this null zero to be hidden we can do that we can do this we can say IP summary address EIGRP 100 10 10 0 0 0 255 0 0 space and we can specify the administrative distance of 255 now let's hit enter we should have we should see resync of all the uh, adjacencies and now if I say do show IP route if you notice the null zero is gone it's not there any longer but if I say do show IPEIGRP 
topology it's still listed there you can't get rid of it because it's there but what it does is it hides it for us it doesn't list it in the routing table but yet in the topology table it's still listed All right show to show IP route it's not there any longer and if you come back to our router 2 we still see the summarized route here and we, still, we should still be able to ping we're still good this is how you can auto summarize routes and then have them uh, distributed to other EIGIP neighbors alright so this was a quick and short tutorial on how to EIGRP route summarization.